Hello everyone and welcome back to Clinical Cousins YouTube channel. Today we're going to go over the drug fluticasone and salmeterol, which combined is known as Advair or an Advair discus. This drug is classified as a corticosteroid long-acting beta-2 agonist. This is given for both asthma and COPD maintenance. It is contraindicated in those with an allergy to milk. In pregnant women, there's not enough evidence to confirm its safety. Our salmeterol is a long-acting beta-2 agonist. Remember our scissor acronym. Beta-2 means relax. This drug will dilate our smooth muscle in our respiratory tree, which will open our airways and allow us to breathe easier. Fluticasone is a potent corticosteroid that inhibits our inflammatory cells from, re from releasing inflammatory substances like histamine. Fluticasone inhibits cells like our mast cells, our eosinophils, our basophils to block the release of histamines and leukotrienes. The end result is that our airways become more dilated directly from the salmeterol and Constriction from inflammation is prevented by the fluticasone. You should be aware that this drug can sometimes decrease the growth velocity of children and it can result in the secondary infections if the mouth is not rinsed properly. This drug will take about two weeks to acquire the maximal effect. The side effects of this drug may include upper respiratory infections, candida infections, headache, throat irritation, and muscle pain. Some commonly tested material about this drug is that it is not a rescue medication. This is a long-acting beta-2 agonist. A short-acting beta-2 agonist would be something like albuterol. It uses both steroids and long-acting beta-2 agonists and it is a combination that treats asthma and COPD maintenance. Lastly, you should be mindful of the side effects and complications that come from both corticosteroids and beta-2 agonists. As always, thank you for taking the time to learn with us today, and remember to like and subscribe for more content.